Hey, Anthony here with another lesson from the Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory series. In this video, I'll cover Unit 5, Lesson 18. Again, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a new video. There is an index with links in the description so you can easily find the lessons you need. I highly recommend that you own a copy of this book and are only watching this video to check your work, review, or because you got really stuck on something. Okay, let's get right into it. Uh, today we're talking about dynamic signs, okay? Dynamic signs indicate the volume or how soft or loud the music should be played. Most musical terms are written in Italian since Italian composers were among the first to write such instructions in their manuscripts. The word piano in Italian means soft. The word forte means loud. The most commonly used dyna dynamic ranges are Italian uh, is piano, forte, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, pianissimo, and fortissimo. Um, if the, you're new to this, you've probably seen these signs in your music, right? So for English, piano means soft, forte means loud, mezzo piano means moderately soft, mezzo forte means moderately loud, pianissimo means very soft, fortissimo means very loud. Um, mezzo means moderately, issimo means very. Dynamic signs arranged in order from very soft to very loud are pianissimo, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte, and fortissimo. Gradual, a gradual change in dynamics. Terms used to indicate a gradual change in volume from soft to loud or loud to soft are Italian, which is crescendo, or shortened to just uh, C-R-E-S-C. -E the sign looks like that, right? So it's like small to big, you know, quiet to loud. In English, just means gradually louder. Diminuendo, uh, or decrescendo, you'll see either dim or decresc. Um, and that goes from big to small, which just means gradually softer. Now, before getting into the exercise, just know that as a musician, dynamics are hugely, hugely important. So if, if you want to be a, a good musician, when you see these dynamic markings on the page, make sure you pay really close attention to them. I know when, when I was first studying music, a lot of times like I didn't think the dynamics were su super important. It's like, okay, I got the note and I got the rhythm. That's great. But, you know, it, any, any, any great musician is going to pay super, super close into the close attention to these dynamic markings it's going to do a great job getting it all right let's flip it over exercises okay write the italian word for f so right this is a lot of this is memory you don't really need the, me for this except for just to check your answers and you can look at the top of the page if you forget forget mp is mezzo piano This sign, remember, it goes from big to small. That's going to be your decrescendo or your diminuendo, if you prefer. P is piano, piano. Pianissimo for the double P. Pianissimo. Uh, two Fs is fortissimo. Uh, mezzo forte for MF. Mezzo forte. And this last one, see, it goes from small to big. So that's just going to go from quiet to loud, which is your crescendo. All right. Uh, number two. Clap the following line, observing the dynamic signs indicated. Right? So this is a little tricky. And I'm going to actually use my, my pen, my pencil here. So here we go. Uh, and I would write I would write your counting in if you're not great at this. Actually, why don't we just do that real quick? One, two, three, one, two, and three, four, one and two and three, four, one and two and three and four. Um, you know, I didn't write in every eighth note. A lot of times I do. Sometimes I don't. Um, here we go. Starting mezzo forte, and I think of mezzo forte as just normal, right? It's just a normal volume. You're not trying to be loud. You're not trying to be quiet. Just a nice, comfortable volume. All right. So let's just kind of go through this before we start it. Start at a normal volume. Then when you get here, you gradually get louder to forte. Keep it loud, 
until you get to that decrescendo and then just bring it down. Okay, I don't know how well this will translate with the pencil, but we see how, we'll see how it goes. One, two, ready, here we go. It's one and two and three and four and 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 All right so there's a little bit of practice with dynamics remember like I, I highly recommend as you learn something right don't add dynamics later after you've learned it add the dynamics right away so that you just get into a good habit of doing those dynamics all right, number three, use every dynamic sign learned above at least once to mark the appropriate dynamic signs on the lines beneath the following story. Now, I feel like this could be a little bit subjective. Um, uh, I happen to know what they want in this book because I have the teacher's edition of it. So I'm gonna give uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you what they want in the book. Um, but I do feel like this could be a little bit subjective, but here we go. So wake up. Wait, no, it's, it's whispered. Wake up, whispered Ron to his brother, Stephen. The boys walked softly out the door. All right. So wake up, whispered. What's that's probably going to be? Whisper is going to be pianissimo, which is very soft. Okay. And then, uh, we're going to keep going. The boys walked softly out the door, right? Which one is soft? That's going to be. P for piano, right? Um, the moderately soft sound. Ooh, moderately soft, as if they're not giving it away there. Moderately soft is going to be what? The mezzo piano, MP. Okay. The moderately soft sound of a distant airplane, which became gradually louder. Hint, hint, hint. So that's going to be the crescendo. And roared very loudly. Which one is very loud? That's fortissimo. Uh, uh, at very loudly as it flew overhead and then faded away gradually. Right? So that's going to be a day crescendo. Steven said, let's play basketball in a moderately loud voice. Who writes like this? Mezzo forte. Somebody who wants you to know what dynamic they're talking about writes like this. They shouted aloud, yes, as they ran to the park. Forte. Okay, it's been, maybe it's been a while since I looked at the. That's not very subjective at all. They give you like exactly what they want. Very loud is, you know, the very loud. They tell you what it is. Anyway, that is Unit 5, Lesson 18. Uh, please like this video and subscribe. Click the links to watch the next lesson or jump ahead to the Unit 5 review. Thanks for watching.